this is going to be a quick review about the Halo capsule cordless vacuum and I've tested this vacuum and I've got some good things to say about it I've got some bad things to say about it I did some extensive testing I have put some of those videos on YouTube in a separate playlist so if you want to go and see how I did those tests go ahead but in this review I'm just going to kind of like condense it just to make it easier for you to watch but if you do want to go and have a look at those other videos where I did the battery life test the suction test and all that sort of stuff then it's on my channel you're free to go and have a look so let's get started with what I liked about the Halo Capsule cordless vacuum so the first thing I liked about the Halo Capsule was the design I thought it was a very interesting design I thought um, that it kind of has like a space age look about it like the the greys and the, the gunmetal greys and the and the yellows and stuff like that so it's got that kind of like almost like a transformer look which I quite liked um, I also like the fact that there was some carbon fiber going on in the designs which is um, very good apparently it's meant to save weight and all that jazz so uh, yeah that's fine the next thing I liked about the halo vacuum and this was one of the main reasons why I wanted to try it out was basically it is a bagged design so most cordless vacuums today they're not bag designs they're bagless so um, why do I want a bag design well because I have some allergies and when you're emptying a bagless vacuum cleaner sometimes that dust can kind of go back in your face so bagged vacuum cleaners they generally they're a little bit cleaner um, a bit tidier so that's the reason why I wanted to try that out the other thing I liked about this halo capsule vacuum was that unusually you have a separate button to turn the brush on and off which I thought was quite cool there's a lot of vacuum cleaners out there especially like the Dyson's you pull the trigger and basically you have no control over the brush it just you know whatever Dyson set it that's what it is so uh, the fact you could turn it on and off was quite cool I like that the other thing I liked about the Halo cordless uh, vacuum cleaner was basically the battery life in high medium and low modes I feel that it was probably average or a little bit above average and considering the price the price was about 250 300 something like that um, it's quite good on the battery actually and I've got the battery tests on my uh, channel from literally start to finish you can watch them uh, wouldn't recommend watching it from start to finish but is there you want to have a look at exactly how long the battery lasted the other thing I liked about the halo capsule was the performance on hard floors it definitely wasn't the worst it was uh, definitely average or maybe 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 just above average on hard floors uh, it picked up most of everything I threw at it so yeah I mean if it picked everything up why is it you know it's not bad is it so yeah I thought it was all right so now we're going to move on to the things I did not like about the halo capsule vacuum so what I did not like well first of all I thought the performance it wasn't 100% you know it wasn't really good I think in terms of the suction performance obviously when you throw the brush bar at it then that adds another element of performance and they work together and then you get quite a good vacuum cleaner on um, on hard floors but the actual suction power of the machine is far from the best I've seen in this category um, yeah I just didn't think it was that great again you can look at my suction tests uh, if you want to have a look but I've tested this against a Dyson I've tested this against Henry Cordless and stuff like that and I just didn't think it was that great especially considering what it looks like it looks space age and you know and all that sort of stuff I didn't think it was as good as what I thought it would be the other thing I didn't like about the halo capsule was the brush attachment so while it's good because you can turn it on and off the thing is very difficult to maneuver I've done like a slalom test sort of thing just to show you how kind of that works I've done that against the Dyson V8 I've done it against the Dyson V10 and um, basically like these Dysons like the way they move they're way 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 easier to control um, than uh, quite a lot of other vacuums but this particular vacuum is very difficult to control I found that the thing kept locking in and that just annoyed me I felt like I was really concentrating when going around corners and stuff basically not to to th get the brush to lock out so uh, yeah that was kind of doing my head in the other thing is because it's made out of cap uh, carbon fiber I thought the halo capsule was going to be a little bit more a bit a bit lighter I thought it was going to be a little bit easier to control and all that but I thought the distribution of the weight was very top heavy and uh, yeah I just didn't like uh, how it felt when I was actually trying to use it um, because of how the weight was distributed 
The next thing I didn't like about the Halo capsule, and I think this is like really, really, really annoying, to be honest, is that the thing doesn't stand up on its own. They don't give you a wall dock. They don't build in a way that you can kind of stand the thing up. So how do you, how do they expect you to, uh, what, do they expect you just to lean it up against the wall? And I noticed that that's probably the case because on the back of the, of the, on the vacuum cleaner, there's like a sponge pad. And I guess that's just for leaning it up against the wall. Now, personally, I just don't think that's a very good uh, way to um, to make a product and uh, <laughs> lean up against the wall. It doesn't take much for it to, to fall down. So uh, unless you have like a dedicated cleaning closet, you know, it's not going to suit a lot of people. So, um, yeah, I didn't like that. The other thing is the battery charging. I thought the battery charging is, again, it's very awkward you know it's just a charger cable put it in you know it's not like an intuitive design like some of the Dysons that you get where you have a wall dock and then you you, you mount the thing in and then the, the battery is all the battery charging is all built in no you have to lean it up against the wall you've got to get your battery charge and you've got to kind of like put it in and hope it doesn't fall over so again it's just a bit standard that's all it looks like a premium product I can understand that there's some manufacturers they just give you a standard charger fine but it looks like a premium product. That's the thing. If it looks like a premium product, it should come with a neat and tidy charging solution. That's my opinion. If you agree, give me a like. The other thing is, weirdly, I kept getting electric shocks from this thing. So I think there's current that must be leaking somewhere on this, uh, on this vacuum. Every time I turned it on, like every five, 10 minutes or so, the thing would shock me and it would send, I could feel, literally feel like this is an electric shock. So, uh, yeah, it, that does that. That's literally only ever happened once, you know, with another vacuum cleaner, and that was a Henry cordless. So that's not that's not completely faultless as well. But you know, this is something that really shouldn't happen. You know, so what's what's the reasoning for that? So um, yeah, I can only tell you what I experienced. The other thing I didn't like about the Halo capsule was the performance on carpets. It wasn't very good. It wasn't anything close to like a Dyson V6 even. Dyson V6, Dyson V7, V8 and uh, V10. And I've, I've used all of these. I've, at the moment I've got a V8 and I've got a V10, but I've had those other ones as well. Um, and on the on carpets, Halo Capsule is not, not as good as them at all, especially with fine dust particles like flour, for example. The thing can't pick it up, can't pick it up. I've, I, literally in one of my tests, I had to get the Dyson to go, and to go and pick the flower up because after trying with the Halo capsule a few times I could just see it wasn't going to pick anything up. So um, yeah, it's not good on carpets. The other thing I didn't like about the Halo capsule was basically the, the brush head. Again, back to the brush head, sometimes you pick particles up and like it will get stuck in the, in the brush head because it hasn't literally been sucked into the, uh, into the bag. So Basically what happens is, let's say you're hoovering up some rice grains or something like that. You might move the, you might take the vacuum cleaner, go and put it against the wall or something and then on the way it's leaking rice out the bottom. So, you know, even though you think you've hoovered it up, or vacuumed it up, even though you think you've, you've, that you've sucked all the rice up, you know, two minutes later you look back, oh there's rice on the floor. So that's another thing, you know, it's just, it's just a shame because I had high hopes for it. You know, it looks like a quite a cool little uh, gadget, household gadget. And uh, you know, it kind of makes cleaning fun a little bit, that sort of thing. Um, you know, I was just hoping that it was gonna be a very easy, you know, good alternative for the Dyson with a bag, you know, good battery, good performance, you know, maybe not quite as good as the Dyson's because of the price, but you know, I thought it was gonna be nearly there. But really, it was not even like I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to use it. Basically, it's as simple as that. I wouldn't even say it's half the performance um, of a Dyson or even other cordless vacuums. So, yeah, that's my review um, in a nutshell of the Halo capsule. I wish I could have recommended it to you, but unfortunately, on this occasion, I can't. So, um, yeah, I hope you, the the Halo guys, if you're listening, I you know I really hope that you make a version two of it, and it's going to be much better, cleaner. But you know, on this occasion, I didn't like this one. I did have high hopes for it though. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Any updates, I'll put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video. Did you like it? If you did, then please give us a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content. I'll see you next time.